Today is National Morning Show Host Day. Good morning. Good morning to you, too. You're up awful early. They're weird that way. Playing host is one tough job. A separate world for freaks. They have completely gone off the deep end. Yes, happy morning show host day. And here's your host. Completely pathetic. Oh, uh, here we go. KHJ Los Angeles. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recording. You're listening to the radio. The radio program you're currently listening to is both lowbrow and esoteric at the same time. It's just two guys making out. Relax. So, another Jack Glaze salmon and anything for you. Wait, what is Jack Glaze? It's our special sauce that we put on the salmon. It's molasses and honey and Jack Daniels. It has alcohol in it? No, no, he doesn't drink. Oh, don't worry. The alcohol cooks down with the fish. But what if you get the sauce on the side and it isn't cooked with the fish? That would explain why we have so many drunk kids here. Unfortunately... Something horrible happened. I don't think it's anybody's fault. It's just one of those things. Um, It's an accident for a reason. That is so stupid. Getting drunk in the morning. Who are you, Kathy Lee Gifford? We may not hook up with women, but we really understand women. Good morning. First of all, uh, welcome to the show. Happy Friday. I have a question for you. Who the hell are you? Okay, I get it. It's been a long week. Yeah! But it's like Freaky Friday. It's almost the weekend, isn't it? I'm freaking out! Maybe it'll be sunny. This whole thing is a freak show. It's showtime. Yeah, it is the Mike Show. So happy you could join us right here, right now on Radio 434, the Radio 434 apps, and Radio434.com. Also on the Alexa. <laughs> How in the heck do you get our live show and our feature channel on the Alexa device? Well, you enable the skill. That's all you do. That's that's all we ask you to do is just say, Alexa, enable the Radio 434 skill. And she will. And then every time after that you want to listen, you just say, Alexa, play Radio 434. You can get our podcast on the Alexa. That's even easier if you uh, just say, Alexa. Play the Mike Show VA podcast, and she will. Uh, the podcast is a repack of the live show. Uh, we do the live show uh, between uh, eight, <clears throat> eight ish and eleven uh, ish, and then uh, we take all those show segments and interviews and stuff, and we repack it into a full length podcast that you can listen to again and again and again and again anytime you want. Uh, that's the Mike Show VA, uh, and you can search that on Apple. Spotify, Amazon Music, RSS.com, and pretty much everywhere you get your uh, get your podcasts. And if you can't uh, can't find it on your uh, preferred platform, just go to Radio434.com, click on the Mike Show channel, and there's a link. All right, coming up on uh, today's program, uh, Jeff Fedorko is going to be joining us uh, from the Virginia 10 Miler. We're going to be talking about uh, any updates weather-related updates and things like that. We're also going to talk about uh, tomorrow's race, races, and uh, the after party uh, being uh, hosted by and held at Three Roads Brewery. Uh, we've got the band Full Moon Fever from Richmond. They're a, uh, they're a Tom Petty tribute band, and they're going to be playing uh, 6 to 9. They have an opener as well uh, that's, uh, that's going to be gracing us uh, with, uh, with musical delight. Uh, so that's, uh, that's uh, tomorrow. And, and by the way, you don't have to have run in the race. You don't have to be affiliated with a Virginia 10 miler to come out and enjoy our live concert presentation. Uh, and uh, that's that's all free. It's absolutely positively free. We don't charge a, a ticket price or an admission cost or anything uh, to come and enjoy live music. Just bring a lawn chair, bring a, uh, a blanket, bring a, bring a beach towel, whatever it is that you'd like to sit on or lay on or roll around on. Uh, at the uh, at the concert event, uh, plus we'll have tons of vendors and uh, and stuff uh, related to the uh, Virginia Ten Miler. All kinds of food trucks as well. Uh, Rookies is going to be there with ice cream. So uh, come on out; it's going to be a great time. Uh, there's a, a, a Virginia Ten Miler after party mixer from three to six, and that's uh, that's going to be uh, awards and things uh, from the Virginia Ten Miler. You're invited to come to that as well. But then six to nine, uh, we've got our live concert event. 
with Full Moon Fever. Everyone is welcome to attend, and it is absolutely positively free, 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 free. Um, also today, uh, we're going to get smart with your five random facts. Uh, Darius and Sarah will be joining us uh, from Lynchburg Community Market, uh, I believe. Yes, uh, I think so. They're they're on the docket. Um, and we're even going to get more smarter er er uh with nerd news. It's this week in science. We do that every Friday. Uh, nerd news. So that's going to be coming up as well. Of course, you know, plus your your stupid criminals and, and not headline news and all that. Um, so a, a 24-year-old man in Pennsylvania spent the last four years attempting to break the record for the world's tallest hat. Uh-huh. And uh, he's... He's finally done it. Uh, his uh, his final design was 17 feet and nine nine and a half nine and a half inches tall. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, the man with, <laughs> with the Lincoln hat. Uh, plus our top list, top pickup lines for the guy with the world's tallest hat. Yep, there you go. Um, that and so much more on. It's the Mike Show. Uh, let's see. Uh, this portion of our broadcast is brought to you in part by CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Looking for a dealership you can trust? CMA's Honda of Lynchburg is here for you. Our legacy of quality service speaks for itself. Drive away today in a Honda that's perfect for you. Trusted by the Lynchburg community for years. CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Owners just care more. Traveling with your family is not only affordable from Lynchburg Regional Airport, it's convenient, too. Our daily departures offer easy connections on American Airlines through Charlotte to over 170 nonstop destinations. So check the great round-trip fares currently being offered to your vacation destinations by using flylyh.com today and click Book Now. Prices are subject to change without notice and certain restrictions apply. Advanced purchases required and availability is limited. Low fares, less hassle. Check Lynchburg first. Join us down at the Lynchburg Community Market and experience all that one of the nation's oldest farmer's markets has to offer. Grab some lunch from our restaurants and shops or shop from our awesome selection of artisan, handmade goods, and our crafters gallery. Swing by on Saturday to check out our farmer's market where you can shop from the freshest selection of local grown produce, meats, and more. The Lynchburg Community Market, located in downtown Lynchburg on the corner of 12th and Main Street. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 7 to 2 year-round. For more information, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Lynchburg Community Market. Coming to you live from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafters' incredible inventory at their Factory Direct Warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. KHF! And now, a public service message to men. Do not use these pickup lines. On a scale of North Korea to America, how free are you tonight? Are you an antiquer? Because I've got some junk that hasn't been touched in years. Hey, babe, is your name Google? Because you have everything I'm searching for. I'm not a photographer, but I could picture you and me together. And you must be a campfire, because you're hot and I want some more. So use that one. Do not use these pickup lines. Thank you. And and it actually worked. He's, he's married to the girl. <laughs> Uh, go Joe Bueno. Uh, all right. Uh, the Mike Show. Hope you are having a, a fine, fine, moist day. Ugh. Um, good news, though. The uh, the weather, and I don't want to I don't want to jinx it. So I'm going to knock on something wooden. Uh, here. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently, apparently, we're going to have nice weather tomorrow. Uh, so that's great. All right. Well, getting back to this. Um, a uh, Pennsylvania man, he's a 24-year-old guy named Joshua Kaiser, spent the last four years attempting to break the record for the world's tallest hat. Well, he's, uh, he's, he's finally done it. Here we go. Let's give him a hallelujah chorus there. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Joshua first decided to do it when he was browsing the interwebs uh, during the, uh, the pandemonium quarantine. He saw the record for the world's tallest hat had been set a couple years before. It was 15 feet 9 inches. He set out to beat the record, but it wasn't easy. Uh, his first effort uh, was uh, used stacked cardboard blocks on Velcro. 
but it was an utter failure. So, uh, so it was a second attempt, which involved wooden dro- do- dowels. How do you wooden dowels? How do you, how do you pronounce that? What are they? Oh, those things, the little wooden things, dowels. Is that how you pronounce it, though? Pronounce. Let's get our pronounceify lady here. Dowels. 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 Okay, dowels. Anyway, so he used those wooden things. He uh, also tried creating one with chicken wire in a tall cone shape. Eventually, he found success. I said he found success. Here we go. Um, he, uh, u- he used a couple of 10-foot-long aluminum gutters uh, from Home Depot and a modified metal... Philadelphia Eagles trash can. <laughs> Joshua's first design was 17 feet, or final design rather, was 17 feet, nine and a half inches, weighed more than 26 pounds, but he was able to wire the hat, uh, wear the hat rather, and walk the minimum distance to get the record, which was 10 meters or about 33 feet. Do we have a picture of this so that we can, uh, uh, okay, this is on Guinness. This is Guinness World. I'm just going to share this uh, this page right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, present. Share screen. Click that. There you go. All right. So there is the world's tallest hat. Okay. Yeah. Right. So now, after you have created the world's tallest hat, you know, using... Dowels. <laughs> Uh, you you uh, you might want to go out on a date. It might get you somewhere, having that Guinness World Record. Well, anyway, with that, we've got our top list today, top pickup lines for the guy with the world's tallest hat. Okay, all right, here we go, number one. Uh, you know what they say about the guy with the giant hat, right? <coughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, is your... Uh, okay, uh, top... Pick up lines for the guy with the world's tallest hat. Is your ass the Guinness record for world's tallest hat? Because I'd love to. I'd love to hold it. But top pick up lines for the guy with the world's tallest hat. We're a match because I got a big hat and you got a big rack. But what? <laughs> top pick up lines is our top list. Top pick up lines for the guy with the world's tallest hat. Uh, let's make like the previous record holder of the world's tallest hat disappear. Top pickup lines for the world's guy with the world's tallest hat. Top pickup lines for the guy with the world's tallest hat. Uh, there's no rabbit under this hat, but there is a snake in these trousers. Yeah, there you go. Uh, top pickup lines for the guy with the world's tallest hat. Good Lord. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue. I look dumb in this hat, but I fit with you. Uh, top pickup lines for the guy with the world's tallest hat. This giant hat. <clears throat> Take two. This giant hat looks good on me. Want to join it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, top pickup lines for the guy with the world's tallest hat. Uh, since I look like Willy Wonka, can I visit your chocolate factory? Oh, no. That's, uh, that's just not right. Yeah, it's about talk, I so. know. That's what he meant. Anyway, uh, The Mike Show. It's the uh, finally Friday edition. Coming up, uh, we got news. Uh, and not headline news. That is all on the way. Uh, this portion of our broadcast is brought to you in part by Lynchburg Regional Airport. It is so much easier to fly LYH. Making sure that you never miss that important connection. At Lynchburg Regional Airport, we're ready when you're ready. Four bags to check in, please. LYH. From here to there to anywhere. We're ready when you're ready. From brand new to lightly used, CMA's Honda of Lynchburg's got you covered. Shop our growing selection today and find our best deals on our entire inventory. That's savings on every single vehicle. And on our used cars, take three days to love it or leave it. Plus, we'll buy your current vehicle. Trade in with us and get an unbeatable offer. Start shopping and saving today. CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Owners just care more. There's nothing like holding a freshly grilled Jersey Mike's cheesesteak. It's even better than holding a winning million-dollar lottery ticket. For starters, Uncle Sam takes half. Then you buy some useless stuff, like a tiny suit of armor for your cat. 
And before you know it, your sister's cousins and Uncle Frankie come knocking on your door for handouts. Bing, bang, boom, you're back to zero. So if you want to play a winning number, order a number 17 Mike's Famous Philly. Freshly grilled right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Broadcasting from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafter's incredible inventory at their factory direct warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. KHF. This is not headline news. Today is morning show hosts day. To honor the occasion, our station manager just sprung for a new soundboard that does the most inappropriate sounds ever. Thanks, boss man. Hoda Kotb is retiring from the Today Show after 17 years. Al Roker says at her goodbye party, there's a 100% chance he'll eat cake. Coca-Cola will stop selling its spiced flavor. Big deal. I'm still upset they stopped adding cocaine. Google it. And Disney Plus cracked down on shared passwords. Unauthorized users will now get a blank screen. Or even worse, that latest Star Wars show. This is not headline news. No, it is not. It's the Mike show, however, and we really appreciate you uh, hanging with us. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's, uh, that. That thing is running running pretty high. It's the river. If you're uh, watching our Facebook Live, we've got the uh, downtown tower cam uh, cranked up for ye. Um, all right, so <laughs> this is probably one of the silliest headlines I have ever, ever read. Um, <laughs> now, has somebody ever given you or your kids a pet and you secretly wished you could gift it back once you realized how much they cost to take care of? Well, Finland feels your pain. Uh, here, here is the headline. Finland is asking China Hello. Hi, what their return policy is on giant pandas. Yep. Uh, back in 2017, China Hello. gave a zoo in Finland uh, two giant pandas as a gift to mark Finland's 100 years of independence. It wasn't a full-on gift. They were just alone until 2033. Uh, when uh, the pandas would be returned to uh, China. Hello. Hi. Uh, but Finland basically called them and asked for their return policy on, on the pandas. What, what's your return policy on giant pandas? That is today's episode name. Um, they have become too expensive for the facility to maintain, and in China, Hello. agreed. Hi. Agreed to take them back. And by the way, pandas are very pricey. In case you don't have any of your own, by the way. Uh, the zoo built a $9 million habitat for them to live in when they first arrived. Now, on top of that, they cost about $2 million a year to care for. Okay, so you're complaining about... <laughs> I'm complaining. You're complaining about the cost of dog food and cat food. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, how about $2 million to care for your panda? Uh, the bamboo that giant pandas eat, for instance, for, for, instance for, for, for existence. Yes, they eat it for existence. But for instance, it was flown in from the Netherlands. The zoo has also been... Now, you would think the Netherlands is pretty darn close to Finland. And so that that would I mean it's not like they're flying it in from uh, from China. That's, Hello. Yeah, uh, the zoo has also been dealing with sagging attendance, uh, <laughs> and uh, so have we all uh, sagging attendance uh, ever ever since the uh, the uh, <laughs> pandemonium. Um, all right, what the heck else is uh, going on out there? Mm. <laughs> okay. I, I have I have to show I, <laughs> I have to show this. This is up on our Facebook Live. If you go to the Mike Show V A, all one word, no spaces, take a look at this yumminess. <laughs> okay, and it and and <laughs> yes. That is a foot. Mm-hmm. Uh here, wait. 
I, I, I need the... I need a different sound effect. Okay, here we go. That one. There we go. That's, that's, that's the one. Uh, yes. That specifically is a chicken sandwich with a chicken's foot hanging out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, there's a takeout place called Bird Box. They opened in Midtown Manhattan in July. And they're going viral for their $19 fried chicken sandwich that's so gourmet, it literally comes with the foot attached. <laughs> bacon, 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 bacon. It's bacon! It is, it's not bacon. Uh, the entire chicken's leg, foot and all, pokes out from the side of the bun. Uh, the place is run by a Michelin star chef. Everyone says the sandwich is great. If you can stomach <laughs> the leg, the, the claw. Um, and it's actually not brand new. They've been selling it at other locations in San Francisco for a while, but it's all over social media right now. What's worse <laughs> is they gave the sandwich a name. Yep. It's called, you ready for it? Claude the Claw. <laughs> So you're not just eating chicken or a chicken, you're eating clawed, okay? For people who don't want that much um, anatomy in their lunch, they do also offer a normal chicken sandwich without the leg, all right? Relax, dude, <laughs> yes, relax. Relax. Yeah. relax, calm down. Relax, mm -hmm. hold on, no, don't, don't do that. All right, uh, coming up, uh, we... Uh, what are we going to do? Oh, yeah, we're going to get smart with five random facts. We're going to get even smarter -er -er -est, uh with nerd news uh, this week in science. It's just science. Don't be afraid. Uh, and, uh, and uh, well, uh, a little bit later on, get your audio vault and all that kind of stuff. Um, this portion of our broadcast is brought to you by Claude the Claw. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No. We won't, we won't make you eat that, but this is what I would recommend that you eat, uh, a Jersey Mike sub. At Jersey Mike's, they slice your order fresh right in front of you. And let me tell you, watching that can send a rush of emotions through a person. Excitement, impatience, baby-like wonder, indecisive, anticipatory chewing, nervous pacing, happy claps, and finally, jealousy, because that's this guy's sub. I should order one. Mm, good idea. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Three Roads Brewery is Lynchburg's gathering spot. Enjoy the relaxed open atmosphere of the Lynchburg Tap Room with plenty of space to unwind or outside on their expansive patio with friends and the entire family. Check out Three Roads games, arcade style, darts, and more. And of course, an excellent selection of craft beers brewed on site. Grab a Three Roads today at their Tap Room, 1300 Court Street, downtown Lynchburg, their Tap Room in Farmville, or anywhere they serve great beer. Three Roads is also available at area convenience stores and supermarkets. And if they don't carry Three Roads, ask them to. Brewing community. Community, Three Roads Brewery. Hi, I'm Megan Huffman from Share Greater Lynchburg. Our website seeks to magnify, equip, and connect our local nonprofit community. You can find ways to donate, volunteer, shop for, or attend events for over 180 organizations. For more information, please visit our website, sharegreaterlynchburg.org. Coming to you live from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafters' incredible inventory at their Factory Direct Warehouse, 3678. Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. KHF. And now it's time for five Rand random random facts. Yep, that time of the day we cram your head full of usable information, and you can tell it back wherever the heck you happen to be. Uh, we don't know where you go or what you do, and really, it's none of our business. But if you say any of these five random facts back, someone in the room is bound to say, "Wow." Maybe I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. Number one, there are approximately 5.2 million trees in New York City. New York City. Yep. Uh, number two, have you ever learned about something new, like a word or a name? And then, then suddenly, pops then, up. 
Yep. Then suddenly found found out it keeps coming up in your life. Is there a term for that? Yep. That's called the Bader Meinhof phenomenon. De- de- okay. de- 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 <laughs> uh, number three. Your eardrums can rupture. That doesn't sound pleasant. Yep. At one hundred fifty. Doesn't really sound like anything at all. One hundred fifty decibels. Slightly louder than a jet engine going off right next to you, right next to ye, uh, your lungs would rupture at 200 decibels. Oh, wow. But it's impossible for a sound to be louder than 194 because the air breaks down the sound waves. Huh. I did not know that. That is cool. Number four, the first show canceled. Uh, The first canceled show to get an Emmy nomination was Drive in 2007. It was a show about a cross-country car race on Fox. They canceled it after four episodes, but it was actually nominated for Outstanding Visual Effects. Oh. And then number five. the uh, Have you, you heard the term, uh, the phrase, seven-year itch? Yes. Well, it actually was used to describe scabies. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said scabies. I think I may need a kidney transplant. No, just scabies. I don't think they make um, a Tylenol for that. Yeah, uh, because back before they could be treated, they lasted for seven years. It became a metaphor for a situation with no hope or relief, including boring marriages. And those are your five random facts. This has been today's edition yeah. of... One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Random facts. Uh, Darius joining us from your Lynchburg community market. How's it going, buddy? It is going great. We're staying dry down here at the market, so um, can't complain. Uh, We know there's going to be a lot of weather coming this weekend, but our market's still rain or shine, so either way, our farmers will be out there braving and enduring for you to make sure we have goodies to put on your table. And if you need to escape from the rain, we've got plenty to do and see inside. So we're excited for a good weekend either way at the market. Yep, and uh, and I've been tracking the weather. Uh, We might have some rain showers in the morning, uh, but uh, it, it should be clearing out by mid-morning, early afternoon. So Today is the main moist day. Yeah, today is the main moist day gotcha. uh, for, uh, for these, uh, for these uh, hurricane-related uh, bands of, of, uh, of showers and things. Um, so, yeah, uh, it, it should clear out. But, again, there is uh, still plenty to do and see, and you guys have uh, everything covered up uh, with, uh, with the big awning and the, over, uh, the overhang there. So we are uh, pretty well equipped for uh, for any yeah. weather. So that's why we are year round, rain or shine, cannot stop us. You can't. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, now uh, coming up, what's the next big event that you have coming up? So next thing we have coming up is just under a month away. We are coming up on our annual Harvest Festival. Uh, Sarah's doing a lot of awesome things as she's planning this event. Uh, so we'll have a lot of really fun goodies, uh, family activities. There'll be some entertainment. Um, tons of food and some snacks to try. Um, And all of this is on top of our normal Saturday offering. So you'll be able to get all the produce, meats, veggies, food, and everything that you like, all the restaurants inside, plus more. So it's uh, the Saturday Market Plus. All right. And we're looking forward to that. And we we really appreciate the fact uh, Saturday mornings are, are most definitely uh, a, a magical time because we start off our our, uh, our morning on Saturdays at Lynchburg Community Market. You should too, uh, and then you know go and explore everything that downtown has to offer. Uh, it's uh, it's really really cool. <coughs> we've, got, we've got some upcoming events and stuff uh, on your Saturday as well. So uh, check out our social media. Check out uh, Lynchburg Community Market's social media and their website. Uh, they are physically located on the corner of Main and Twelfth Street, and on the interwebs at. LynchburgCommunityMarket.com, and then we're on both Facebook and Instagram at Lynchburg Community Market. Yep. Uh, 12th and Main Street is where you can find them physically. you got uh, plenty of parking, even though there's a little bit of construction going on on Main Street. Uh, there's plenty of signage to, to get you around town. And you can, uh, you can park at that, uh, that lower lot on the corner of Main and Commerce. And Correct. just walk, walk up to the market. It's, it's, that's probably where you'd be parking anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you can make it around to your two parking lots uh, just by following the detour signs, and uh, and you'll find them. Your your two lots are still open, correct? Both of our lots are still open, correct? All right, uh, Lynchburg Community Market 
uh, each and every. Well, you guys are open regular hours too yeah, throughout each the week. And every Saturday and each and every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. <laughs> yep. Uh, so go grab lunch. Uh, if you want to, if you want to stay out of the rain, uh, you got uh, you got plenty of market indoors uh, to uh, to and go hey, and grab lunch. If you want to sit in the rain? We still got outside seating, so <laughs> take if, your break. <laughs> if, if, if that's your pleasure, uh, go and sit out in the rain at Lynchburg Community Market as well. All right, well, Darius, thank you so much for joining us, and we will talk to you again soon. Sounds good. Thanks, Mike. All right, thanks. Uh, coming up, we have uh, well, we have sounds. And we're going to lovingly place them in your ear holes. Uh, it's called Audio Vault. And then Nerd News uh, right around the corner. Stay tuned. Join us down at the Lynchburg Community Market and experience all that one of the nation's oldest farmer's markets has to offer. Grab some lunch from our restaurants and shops or shop from our awesome selection of artisan, handmade goods, and our crafters gallery. Swing by on Saturday to check out our farmer's market where you can shop from the freshest selection of local grown produce, meats, and more. The Lynchburg Community Market, located in downtown Lynchburg on the corner of 12th and Main Street. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 7 to 2 year round. For more information, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Lynchburg Community Market. If you haven't planned that vacation yet, start by checking Lynchburg Regional Airport with our great round-trip airfares to many popular destinations. Flying from Lynchburg is easy and affordable, offering daily departures on American Airlines to Charlotte with connections to over 170 nonstop destinations worldwide. To check fares and book tickets, visit flylyh.com today and click Book Now. Prices are subject to change without notice and certain restrictions apply. Advanced purchases required and availability is limited. Your club and convenient connection. Check Lynchburg first. Broadcasting from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafter's incredible inventory at their factory direct warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at stonecraftersva.com. KHF. It is the Mike Show. It's the uh, finally Friday edition of the program. And we've got Jeff joining us. Uh, 50 years of the Virginia 10 miler. Can you believe, and you were there for every one of them. Yeah, I wasn't there for every one of them, but I'll tell you the Friday before the race, I feel like I've run every one of them. Really? I mean, and, and if, uh, if setting up a race, uh, the 50th anniversary of the Virginia 10 miler isn't challenging enough. Mother nature had to throw us a few curveballs. Yeah, as runners and organizers, we're used to watching the weather forecast and pivoting, but uh, it looks like Saturday is going to be just an outstanding weather day. Yep, uh, and uh, we're seeing that too as well, and thank God that that's the case, uh, because I, I was kind of sweating it. You know, you, you set up outdoor events, and, and, and there's always that, you know, there's always that 50-50 chance. Runners will run in just about everything, but uh, electrical gear and uh, and bands, not necessarily. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so one thing that has changed, and I saw your Facebook post, uh, are are some of the uh, some of the earlier uh, uh, celebrations and festivities. Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah. The Virginia Ten Miler is more than just a race on Saturday. We have a number of events and activations leading up to it, and one of the most popular ones is the amazing mile children's run hosted by amazement square on friday evening and unfortunately due to the weather and concerns about safety uh for those little ones uh we have canceled the running of the amazing mile children's run uh amazement square great partners uh they held out as long as they could but it really looks like the you know the best decision is not to have the run the museum is open to all participants uh packets are still available for pickup uh, free of charge uh, to go to the museum this evening if you did register for the race and enjoy the museum. Uh, but unfortunately, that event's not taking place. And uh, and and that is, and and it's it's really the right call because you know with with the way the weather is uh, and and all the all the watches that are out there uh, as yeah. far as weather watches and flood yeah. watches and things like that. It, it really is. It, that was a smart decision. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if, if this was a, if this was an event for, for adults, uh, it'd be full steam ahead, I think. But when yeah. we're talking about children, you got to step up your game even more. Absolutely. Uh, well then tomorrow, uh, what can we expect uh, at the uh, Virginia 10 miler tomorrow? I'd say tomorrow you're going to expect more than a thousand volunteers more than 4,000 participants from 44 states, four different countries, 
60 elites coming from all over the United States and the world to compete in our 50th running of the Virginia 10 miler. We also have, of course, a four mile run and a four mile walk. Uh, and, and those folks are part of that number. But I can tell you that the, the excitement is at a level I, in my 18 years, I've never experienced. And, and I think there's a, a lot of energy behind the 50th. And really, Mike, you know, with all the bad weather we've had this week, uh, people know how beautiful Saturday is going to be. And you'll see probably more spectators out on the course enjoying sunshine for the first time in many days. And, and runners just energized by, uh, by everyone around them. Now, Jeff, can you still register for tomorrow's race? Registration is open. So uh, until 7.15 a.m. tomorrow, uh, registration is open. So if you're a last-minute person, if you've been watching that weather, you can still register uh, for any of Saturday's events until 7.15 a.m. Of course, that start-finish line is at EC Glass High School. And if you're going to pick up your race materials, you do that at EC Glass. Okay. Uh, So that is taking place. You can visit the uh, Virginia 10 Miler website, Virginia 10miler.com. And we'll link that up on this broadcast as well on our Facebook page at the Mike Show VA. Um, So, Jeff, after, you know, we've done the race, uh, after the race, uh, what happens then? I'm so excited for our 11th mile after party in partnership with Three Roads Brewery, one of the best breweries in Virginia. We've got it right here in Lynchburg. Uh, so we will uh, have an opportunity for people to clean up a bit after their run. And then in the afternoon, starting at three o'clock, open to the public, free. Uh, we'll have vendors, food trucks, uh, some music playing, uh, giving out age group awards for anyone that needs to pick up an age group award down at Three Roads Brewery in Lynchburg. And then really the pinnacle of all this is Full Moon Fever. One of the best Tom Petty tribute bands in the country coming in from Richmond uh, to play. And and who does not love Tom Petty? Oh, I mean, absolutely. And these guys are phenomenal. They're incredible musicians. uh, And uh, we're really, really excited and looking forward to uh, to having this band uh, play for us. Uh, Six to nine. uh, It's going to be it's going to be phenomenal. Now, this is open to the public. And we, we, we have to stress this again and again and again. It's not just a race thing. Uh, you can, uh, you're invited if you, whether you ran the, uh, the Virginia 10 miler, whether you were a spectator or whether you just wander in off the street and it's absolutely positively free, 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 free. This is a free concert event, uh, at, uh, at three roads. Uh, and it's, uh, it's all in celebration of the, uh, of the 50th anniversary of the Virginia 10 miler. Bring your friends, bring your family, bring a lawn chair, something to sit yep. on. Uh, yeah. but it really is going to be a magical weekend uh, for the Lynchburg community, for the Hill City. And uh, like you said, Mike, we, we want everyone to come and celebrate with us. This is a this is a Lynchburg tradition, a Lynchburg event. Absolutely. Uh, tell us about some of the vendors that will be set up uh, at the 11th mile after party. One of our one of our amazing partners has been Brooks Running. And no matter where you are in the United States, you've heard of Brooks Running Shoes. They'll be there having a, a fun zone, recovery zone. Morin Giles, our title sponsor, will be there represented. Centra Health will be there. And, of course, uh, the Virginia 10 Miler is going to be there as well, um, giving out their age group awards. So it's a, it's a nice footprint of that. And then also we've got, our, we've got our food trucks. And, Mike, I forgot to mention 11th Mile Lager. Absolutely. Uh, the 11th Mile Lager was brewed specifically for the uh, 50th anniversary of the Virginia 10 Miler. You can get it in cans and you can get it in draft. Get the cans because I recommend uh, taking home a souvenir. Uh, and you can you can drink the draft uh, at Three Roads, but grab a couple of those cans and uh, a couple of the four packs. Take them home with you. They're they're great souvenirs. They're uh, they're adorned with the uh, the, the Virginia 10 Miler. Uh, 11th mile logger logo. And it's just, it's, it's such a cool collaboration. It really is. I couldn't agree more. I mean, if you're old enough to remember the old Wheaties box where they would put Mary Lou Retton on there or, or some other famous uh, person or athlete, this is, this is our Wheaties box. You're right. The 11th mile logger. I mean, you want to, I've heard of people just buying that four pack and putting it on a shelf. They're never going to drink it. It's as important to them as their T-shirt or their finisher medal. 
Absolutely. Uh, I agree. And I've been enjoying uh, one or two Virginia 10 miler, uh, 11th mile loggers, uh, just, you know, one or two. Uh, in in uh, you know reasonably and responsibly, uh, and you can too. Uh, throughout the uh, throughout the rest of this month, uh, you can get it, and especially at the event uh, at the eleventh mile uh, at Three Roads. And again, that takes place uh, three until nine. Band uh, hits the stage at six, so we're really really uh, welcoming everybody and, and looking forward to this. Um, and in addition to that, uh, Three Roads is going to be in your. Uh, at the race itself, uh, we'll be at the Sponsor Village. That's right. We're looking forward to that. We've got more than uh, 40 sponsors of the event. And part of uh, Saturday's festivities, the morning of the race, is our Sponsor Village. And uh, that village, for the first time ever, is full. We have run out of space. Uh, It's going to be great to see three roads there. The city, of course, will be there. Can't do the race without the city. Uh, all of our top level sponsors will have a footprint there and uh, they have got some fun activities as uh, at their tents, whether it's giveaways or raffles uh, open to everyone that comes to the race. So, um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that. Very, very cool. Well, uh, we are as well. Uh, you can learn more. And if you have not yet signed up, if you were watching the weather, as Jeff mentioned, uh, the weather uh, appears to be fantastic for tomorrow uh you can register for the race up until what 7 15 you said until 7 15 saturday All morning right. virginia 10 miler.com that's virginia 10 miler.com and we'll link that up on this broadcast and uh, and you can join us hopefully you'll join us tomorrow at any of the festivities whether it be the race uh whether it be the 11th mile after party uh we invite you to join us you don't have to be a runner you don't have to be part of the 10 miler to come out and party with us at three roads well, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for all you do uh, within the uh, running community. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I just, if for any runners listening out there, uh, good luck tomorrow. Uh, we, we look forward to, to seeing you at the starting line and at the finish. Absolutely. Uh, looking forward to that as well. It is the Virginia 10 miler tomorrow. So uh, get on there again, Virginia 10 miler.com. Jeff, thanks so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Absolutely. You too. Uh, It is The Mike Show coming up a little bit later on. We've got your audio vault. Stay tuned for that. From brand new to lightly used, CMA's Honda of Lynchburg's got you covered. Shop our growing selection today and find our best deals on our entire inventory. That's savings on every single vehicle. And on our used cars, take three days to love it or leave it. Plus, we'll buy your current vehicle. Trade in with us and get an unbeatable offer. Start shopping and saving today. CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Owners just care more. Lynchburg Regional Airport is going strong. For many years now, Lynchburg's low fares have been among the most competitive in the area, and our conveniently scheduled flights offer easy connections on American Airlines through Charlotte to over 170 nonstop destinations worldwide. So check the great round-trip airfares currently being offered by visiting flylyh.com today and click Book Now. Prices are subject to change without notice, and certain restrictions apply. Advanced purchases required and availability is limited. Your close and convenient connection, check Lynchburg first. Coming to you live from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafter's incredible inventory at their factory direct warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. KHF! All right, time once again for Nerd News. This week in science, it's just science. Nothing. Nothing specifically to. Uh, be afraid of um, or or be very afraid i'm not exactly sure a uh, quick rundown from this week covering the most important news for your brains um in gadget news uh, meta unveiled this let me uh, share this <laughs> that is their new augmented reality glasses even if they're not very stylish, uh, they're smaller than the ones that Snapchat recently teased, but still comically large. Uh, in vacation news, uh, a team at the University of, uh, of Cambridge, Hello! there they are, said if we really want to get serious about carbon emissions, we should make airplanes fly 15% slower. 
So a five-hour cross-country flight would take more like six. Um, how about uh, how about you know the uh, the emissions from uh, factories and things in uh, Hello. I don't know other countries? <clears throat> how about we get them to do their share? But I digress. In uh, space news, uh, and then don't get me started on the cont- container and cargo ships, especially from other countries that we don't regulate and can't regulate. Anyway, um, in space news, Elon Musk wants SpaceX to send five uncrewed missions to Mars by 2026. Uncrewed. Uh, followed by the first crewed missions in 2028. I'll be 61 years old. Anyway, um, is that too old to go to Mars? I don't know. In animal news, a team of marine biologists released footage of octopi <laughs> teaming up with fish to hunt for prey. Uh, I want to look at this video. Here, wait. Let's uh, let's pause that and uh, see if we can share this up on our screen. Can we share it? This is at the Mike Show VA on our social media. So here is the octopi teaming up, and then it's punching the fish when they do a bad job. I, I, do, I don't know if this is proof that they're <laughs> that they're actually teaming up. I just think that that's proof uh, of some mean octopus. Uh, anyway, I don't know. What else in uh, in ancient animal news? Uh, a study found that severe allergies to pollen might have killed off the woolly mammoths. <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, it's it's, it's pollen. Pollen killed off the woolly mammals. Uh, in food news, a study found being a picky eater might just be embedded in your DNA. And there you go. That's nerd news this weekend. Science. No, no, no real deep dives. We're we're running really really late today anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm not looking to do a deep dive on anything. Uh, this portion of our broadcast was brought to you in part by Lynchburg Regional Airport. It is so much easier to fly. LYH. Whether your adventure is just beginning or you're on your way home at Lynchburg Regional Airport, we're ready when you're ready. LYH. From here to there to anywhere, we're ready when you're ready. Three Roads Brewery is Lynchburg's gathering spot. Enjoy the relaxed open atmosphere of the Lynchburg Tap Room with plenty of space to unwind or outside on their expansive patio with friends and the entire family. Check out Three Roads games, arcade style, darts, and more. And of course, an excellent selection of craft beers brewed on site. Grab a Three Roads today at their Tap Room, 1300 Court Street, downtown Lynchburg, their Tap Room in Farmville, or anywhere they serve great beer. Three Roads is also available at area convenience stores and supermarkets. And if they don't carry Three Roads, ask them to. Brewing Community, Three Roads Brewery. Getting a Jersey Mike's sub top Mike's way with onion, lettuce, tomatoes, oregano, and the juice is the bee's knees. Actually, it's better than the bee's knees. I mean, what's the purpose of knees on bees? They don't crouch. They just buzz around. But Mike's way has a purpose. Topping your sub the authentic Jersey way. It's the cat's pajamas. Wait, cats don't wear pajamas. Mike's way is better. Let's just leave it at that. Get your sub top Mike's way. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. Coming to you live from the Stonecrafter Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafter's incredible inventory at their Factory Direct Warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. KHF! All right, let's open it up. It's your audio vault for today. Our collection of bits and clips and viral audio for your ear holes. I think you'll like it. A survey finds 71% of U.S. adults suspect that when they get an election donation request, it's actually a scam. Don't fall victim to a scam. 
Now you don't have to be afraid of being scammed. Introducing the Stop the Scam Squad. For the low, low price of $100, that's right, just a measly Benjamin Franklin, we'll stop the scammers in their tracks. Just wire the money directly to our totally legitimate P.O. Box and you'll be scam-free forever. But wait, there's more. If you act right now, we'll even throw in a limited edition I'm Not a Sucker badge. Wear it proudly to your next family gathering to prove you're immune to scammers. Because you sent us money to stop the scammers. Remember, we need your bank details by midnight or the scammers win. So act fast, send your cash, and let's all laugh at those poor souls who didn't send $100 to Stop the Scam Squad. P.O. Box 54321, Zuckerberg, USA. Totally real, definitely not a scam, not liable for any lost money. No, not at all. All right, uh, let's go to viral videos. So a dentist office in Colorado pranked their new co-worker by starting their daily meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. She was about to eat when they all got up and saw the flag on the video screen. She immediately got up. Uh, here's the end of the pledge and her reaction. And this is Very good. So, today we're going to start with the segue, and then we're going to start with the segue. All right, great. <laughs> Let's see. 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 Let's see.
think that's fair. Oh, I'm not looking for that. I'm not looking for that. They should have an alarm clock that wakes you up gradually. That'd be a human voice. You know what I mean? Come on, buddy. Get up, pal. You're looking good. You're looking good. You got the whole day ahead of you. Come on, buddy. Nice day. Come on, out of bed. Out of bed. Get out of bed. You get out of bed before I kick you out of bed. You get out of bed. Then you hit the snooze alarm. Sorry, buddy. Come on, pal. You're looking good, man. Oh, you go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. All right. That's your audio vault for today. Uh, let's reach over here and lovingly grab the handle. Go ahead. Give it a tug. Keep all that sound inside. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're going to get stupid coming up in uh, Stupid Criminals in Dot News. Uh, but then we've got the good news for you to wrap up the uh, week. Uh, this portion of our broadcast is brought to you in part by CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Looking for a dealership you can trust? CMA's Honda of Lynchburg is here for you. Our legacy of quality service speaks for itself. Drive away today in a Honda that's perfect for you. Trusted by the Lynchburg community for years. CMA's Honda of Lynchburg. Owners just care more. Hi, I'm Matt Bright, the new owner of CRI Digital Impressions. And I'm excited to announce a new chapter in the century-long history of CRI. Mutual Press was founded in 1927, and in 1973, it merged with CRI to become CRI Mutual Press. In 2002, it was renamed CRI Digital Impressions. I also own Bright Images, which has provided print and media services to the area since 1995. Yes, there is a new owner and a new location, but the same commitment to quality and service. In fact, quality and service are the cornerstones of my business philosophy. Quick turns and service with a smile. From business cards to banners and pamphlets to paperback books, we can provide all your printing needs. Call, visit us online, or stop by our location at 3022 Memorial Avenue, Lynchburg. We look forward to serving you. Getting a Jersey Mike's sub top Mike's way with onion, lettuce, tomatoes, oregano, and the juice is the bee's knees. Actually, it's better than the bee's knees. I mean, what's the purpose of knees on bees? They don't crouch. They just buzz around. But Mike's way has a purpose. Topping your sub the authentic Jersey way. It's the cat's pajamas. Wait, cats don't wear pajamas. Mike's way is better. Let's just leave it at that. Get your sub top Mike's way. Jersey Mike's. A sub above. Broadcasting from the Stonecrafters Studios. For custom countertops and cabinetry, shop Stonecrafters' incredible inventory at their factory direct warehouse, 3678 Manita Road, Bedford. Online at StonecraftersVA.com. KHF. All right, time once again for Stupid Criminals in Dot News. All right, uh, skip that, skip that. Here, here it is. Um. Okay. A 24-year-old guy in southwest Oregon flipped his car on Tuesday night and had to be airlifted to the hospital. It happened in Myrtle Point. It's about 200 miles uh, south of Portland. Uh, Police say he was driving home from a bar. Alcohol may have played a role. Uh, So once he's out of the hospital, he could be facing a DUI charge. But on the bright side, it could be a bonding experience because his dad showed up to, uh, to the scene of the crash and he got a DUI. 53-year-old Jonathan Craybill uh, pulled up in his own vehicle, smelling like booze. Uh, police say he was uncooperative, wouldn't take a breathalyzer. They gave him a field sobriety test. He failed it. He's facing charges for driving under the influence and refusing to provide a breath sample. Um, and then there is this. Is there, or did we cover them all? Oh, here, here we go. A mom has been arrested in California for allegedly sneaking her two kids into Disneyland without paying. Uh, and this happened, this is the fourth time in a couple of months. Police are accusing her of trying to pass off her children as under two years old so they could get in for free. Uh, oh, that's no... <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> there was no sound. We had no sound on that story. Uh, was there anything else in the stupid? Oh, we got good news for you, and we're going to share that because there is so much stupidity. A pet adoption group in Texas called Austin Pets Alive posted a video of a guy who showed up two hours early to one of their events. He met a two-year-old shepherd mix named Julius, 
didn't want anyone else to get him, so he made sure he was first in line. Here's Drew talking about getting in line early. I showed up two-ish hours early. I wanted to come home with me. And my partner and I came on Sunday. Got to hang out with him for a half hour or so, get to know him a little bit. I came here with the intention today of adopting Julius, and I can't wait. Okay. Um, and that is the good news. Uh, the good news is brought to you in part by the United Way of Central Virginia. Last year, funded 25 different community agencies and 38 programs and provided $975,000 to our community to support these wonderful programs that services individuals in need. I am the change. And remember, you can also be the change by supporting United Way. Visit our website, Be the Change, and donate today. All right, visit unitedwaycv.org for more information. Um, Well, that is it. That is the program. We are back Monday. Goodbye. Don't come back. Now we're back Monday with another thrilling edition of The Mike Show. We want to invite everybody to uh, come on out to uh, Three Roads Brewing uh, tomorrow. Uh, come out to the 11th mile. It is the uh, after party for the uh, for the Virginia 10 miler. Uh, that's taking place uh, tomorrow. You don't have to be a runner, by the way, uh, to uh, to come out and uh, and enjoy this event. Uh, from three to six, uh, it is uh, it is a mixer for the Virginia 10 miler. Uh, they're going to be giving out uh, the age bracket awards. Uh, plus, we've got food trucks uh, on site. Uh, Rookies is going to be there uh, with the first 200 sandwiches absolutely positively free. And then after that, uh, they'll they'll stick around throughout the entire concert, which is from 6 to 9. You can enjoy the music of Full Moon Fever. They are uh, they are Virginia's premier uh, Tom Petty tribute band. Uh, they're going to be joining us from 6 to 9 on stage at Three Roads. It is a free concert, and it is absolutely positively open to the public. Uh, uh, you don't need to have run. You don't need to be a runner. You don't need to be part of the Virginia 10-Miler. This is a free concert uh, brought to you by Three Roads, uh, and uh, we really want you to come out and enjoy it. Also, we want to thank the uh, Lynchburg Regional Airport for uh, their support in helping us bring live music to the Berg and uh, helping us uh, pay Full Moon Fever. Uh, Tom Petty Tribute Band from Richmond, uh, they're going to be uh, playing again from 6 to 9 uh, Saturday night, so come on out and en- enjoy it. Enjoy a great night of music. Uh, weather should be should be a lot better. Uh, we are hoping. Fingers crossed. Uh, bring a lawn chair. Bring a blanket. Bring an emergency poncho just in case. Uh, but uh, we'll see you out at Three Roads Brewing, uh, 1300 Court Street in downtown Lynchburg for Full Moon Fever. Saturday night. That's it. We'll see ya. Thanks for tuning our way. And if you're listening in your car right now, thanks for the ride. Scotty, beat me up. So this is it. This is the end. I hope you and your companion had a good time listening. And hey, if things went really well, do me a favor and name the baby Ron. Mike. Ciao. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. Who's going to do the dishes?